Let us now take the sixth model from this topic which is based on the concept of highest common factor. The point here is the greatest number that will divide A, B and C leaving the same remainder R in each case will be the HCF of A difference B, B difference C and C difference A. So as you can see here whenever the greatest number that divides three numbers A, B and C leaving the same remainder in each of the cases required the answer is nothing but the highest common factor of the three differences that we get out of these three numbers. Let us take an example to understand this. Find the greatest number that will divide 65, 81 and 145 leaving the same remainder in each case. So as you can see here we are supposed to find out the greatest number that can divide 65, 81 and 145 by leaving the same remainder in each of the cases. Now as you can see here what is that remainder which is left out is not required to solve these type of questions. Why? Because the answer actually is HCF of the differences that we get out of these three numbers. So here we can say that the answer should be the highest common factor of the differences that we get out of these three numbers. That means the first difference is 65 difference 81, second one is 81 difference 145 and the third number should be 145 difference 65. A difference is nothing but the absolute value that we get by subtracting those two values. So here it can be taken as HCF of 65 difference 81 is equal to 16. 81 difference 145 is equal to 64 and 145 difference 65 is 80. So the final answer here should be the highest common factor of 16, 64 and 80. Now here as you can observe these numbers 16, 64 and 80 are all multiples of 16. For example 16 into 1 is 16, 16 into 4 is 64 and 16 into 5 is 80. And as I have already mentioned in one of the previous models, whenever we find multiples in this manner, we can directly say that the answer here has to be 16 itself. Why? Because all these numbers are the multiples of 16 and 16 is also one of the numbers. So the highest common factor directly can be taken as 16. Otherwise, if we don't get this idea, then we can go for the procedure that we have discussed for finding out HCF of three numbers. That is, first find out the HCF of 16 and 64 and with the answer and the left out number 80, again find out the new HCF. So that gives the overall HCF for the three numbers. So the answer for this question has to be 16. Remember friends, we have discussed a similar concept in model number 3 where it was for LCM. There, the point was the least number that is divisible by three numbers A, B and C leaving the same remainder R in each case. So don't get confused in model 6 and model 3. Model 3 is for LCM where a number when divided by three different numbers gives the same remainder. And here model 6 is for HCF where a number which can divide three different numbers and leave the same remainder. So be careful and get the required answer as per the models discussed.